collision between Alexander Volkov and Jarzinho. Biggie boy Rosenstruck. All right, so here he is, the man they call Biggie Boy and the first native of Little Suriname to cross into the UFC. Heavyweight contender and a bona fide one at that, Jarzinho Rosenstrike. Outstanding rookie year in the UFC in 2019. Won all four of his fights, all four of them by knockout. None bigger, of course, than that lip separation of Alistair Overeem that set up a future fight with Francis Ngannou. A lot of people feel like Rosenstrike is the future. We'll try to be the present here tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, four losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Yes, in yo, Biggie Boy, Rose and Stride. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexander Drago Volta. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a fight. Ready. Ready to fight. All these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Head blocked. 
game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, single collar tie here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful getting his head when he's throwing that jab. Rosenstrike gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Circling to his right. Here comes that hook. Just over three minutes to go. Oh. Oh. Got the single collar tie. Hard shots landing on both sides here. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, oh. tie. And they separate. Hands on your face. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, strong punch there by Volkov. Let's go, you can do this. Under two minutes to go. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Single collar tie now. Five seconds remain in the round. Take that, take that. Take it now. Take it. Take it now. Take it now. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? 15 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Horn oh, sounds God. for the end of round one. Let's take a look back at the previous round. It is a bloody Saturday night, courtesy of those elbow strikes, champ. I mean, Muay Thai at its best. In tight, over the top with the elbow, coming up with the elbow. He's doing so many different variations of those elbows. All of his coaches at his Muay Thai camp would be very proud of the performance that he's putting on right now. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. 
Caught the kick. For him tonight, and he landed it again there. If it's a thing, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Right hand on point. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice hand speed and combination there from Alexander Volkov. We talk a lot about length and reach in MMA. This guy knows how to use it. Right hand puts the clinch. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Pretty significant well to the left side. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Get ready to counter that double jab for me. Blocks the strike. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. And he comes through with a big knee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. And they separate. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. And they separate. Protect your face. Hands up. Keep working that box. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes that one appeared to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. So 43 total strikes have now landed for Alexander Volkov. Well, and in terms of the efficiency on the feet, landing with 36% accuracy here thus far against Alexander the Great Volkov. Beautiful strike. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Final seconds here of round number two. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fights progress.
All right, the action continues here and now as our next Let's round play. gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Good punch. Rosen strikes lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, single collar tie here. He landed a good uppercut there. Oh, straight right. And they separate. Another shot lands upstairs. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Volkov. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Biggie Boy. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Volkov. Not there. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Blocks the shot. Take them down. Break them up. Uh, you set the pace. You set the pace. It's your fight. Oh, collar tie. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice straight punch. Yeah, let's oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Rosenstrom. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Single collar tie now. Big punch land through the middle. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, Rosen strikes lower jaw is extremely swollen now. 
left hook landed on the button. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Big roundhouse now, just misses. And able to avoid the punch there, nice slip by Volkov. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his bite. Just misses with the straight right. Wow. Oh, nice elbow. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Volkov. Unable to connect there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Volkov gets the tie clinch here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good body shot. He's very tricky when he throws that body clinch. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Good punch, Lance. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Man. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Volkov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Huge block there. Oh, single collar tie here. Volkov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, big time. knee! Oh! That was crazy! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that right there.
sure is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Yazinya Diggy Boy Rosenstrom. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.